uh, hello guys uh, today like now we are going to start a live stream okay we got a bit of late so now i'm opening code chef now Check now. Okay, so now like uh, in the last video, uh, in the last uh, that is uh, in yesterday, we have solved uh, first two questions. Okay, and we have seen the like we have understood the concept required for the that that is the logic for the third question also. Okay, so today we will be uh, writing code for question third, and we will be seeing question fourth. Okay, so I hope you have tried this question avoid fixed point okay so like uh, I today I have spent my whole day solving this question okay and I think it's a really good question uh, okay so now we have already seen the yesterday like uh, approach for this Okay guys now like if I try to uh, open the whiteboard sheet yesterday that I have saved in my system so that we can have a quick revision of what we did in the last question in the third question so uh, it was whiteboard have long if we can open it here Okay, it won't work. It, it can't open it right now. Okay, uh, so guys, uh, like the thing is, uh, yesterday we have seen that uh, we have to <coughs> okay, we have to uh, tell, we have to uh, like find where if the minimum number of operation that we can perform to achieve this goal, and the goal was that uh, we want our AI to be not equals to I. Okay, like we want uh, AI to be not equals to I. Uh, okay. So like if you have not uh, seen the first part of this video that is yesterday's live stream Okay, that is uh, it is cited as Code Chef Starter Fab Long Challenge Tip 3 So I think uh, I would suggest to go and watch that so that you can have a Like you have you will have an idea then what we have to do in this question Okay, so now uh, we will be Coming directly to its coding part. Okay, uh, first of all I'm writing just the standard code Okay guys, it's a standard uh, like Here we will take number of test cases first okay, and now while d minus minus we will perform our function output output is nothing but just like I have a, I'm habitual of uh, declaring function and then solving it for like solving it separately for each test cases so amount of output Zero. 
and then we will perform all the operations here for each test case. Okay, uh, see, uh, first of all, we will be taking n as input. Okay, first of all, we will be taking n as input, and then we will take uh, elements of the array, let's say, uh, as the input. So then, see in num. No, uh, not num. C n. Okay. See, uh, see, n is here. N is the n is the total number of elements. Total number of elements. Okay. N is the total number of elements. Then we have to take input for each element also. Okay. So we will declare a variable. And, and like we will take input for n numbers. So. like C and C in now C in now. okay so guys now the thing is that uh, we have to like as we have seen yesterday that here uh, we need a uh, like either we need we need an array or a vector okay to first to store this element and then to perform this these operations and then to perform these operations okay uh, guys but the issue here that uh, we will have is that uh, in case of array and vector uh, insertion is quite expensive okay like here we have seen that we have to insert a number okay they have told us that we have to insert that chef can okay uh, if i go above and try to show you see we have to uh, choose any positive integer k and insert it at any position of the sequence okay since because we are required to insert any number inside the sequence then if we take uh, array or vector that it will be expensive um, and like we can see that uh, it will give us time complexity issue okay it will give us time complexity issue so like as i said that uh, today i spent my whole day solving this question okay like i read many articles okay like i read many articles and i even uh, i have gone through many problems okay but then uh, what i saw was that in case of uh, like when we have to insert or delete okay, in case of in case of insert or delete case of insert or delete list stands out like we can say that list uh, list outweighs okay or that list give us advantage list give us advantage over uh, over vector and all okay so here we will be using list list is a important concept okay uh, of STL okay so list in I am declaring list and list L then here we will push back whatever the element is we will push back into it now see uh, and guys see like uh, if you are not uh, aware about list then no issue like you can anytime you can go to list and then c++ stl okay like i have read about list today okay so you can go and like here uh, on geeks for geeks uh, like quality material and a good article is available you can go through it okay uh, like from here only i have learned how to take input like how to uh, insert list numbers in a list okay and how to perform basic operation like here uh, they are uh, printing the list okay how they how we can push and how we can like pop uh, from the list and or like what are the functions available in the list okay so you can refer to this article for studying about list for studying about list okay so uh, like now we have uh, taken like we have uh, inserted all the elements inside the list okay so uh, now the thing is that uh, we have to uh, perform these operations like first we have to check if we have to check if ai is equals to i okay we have to check if ai equals to i so uh, how we will check we will check there is any idea how we will check okay no issue uh, then for first we need to iterate the list okay so for auto itr auto itr equals to l dot begin okay for auto itr equals to l dot begin itr not equals to l dot end right i hope like uh, um like uh, we are not having a lag between the like i'm not having any lag okay you can mention it in the live chat if so uh, then uh, itr plus plus okay now the thing is that we have to check if itr equals to uh, the thing is that uh, let's say 
we are talking about this case first 413 okay because here we can see that here uh, ai is already not equals to i okay so like it is a very basic thing like it's a very easy thing as we, here we do not have how many operations okay so now we will consider 413 case while trying while encoding this program okay so let's consider 4 1 and 3 okay so now in case of 4 1 3 if i try to remind you like what we have done yesterday here if we consider this if we consider these elements as one ways indexed okay so it will be 1 2 and 3 it means that it means that 4 will be placed at first index okay and uh, 2 will be placed at 2 index uh, i mean uh, 1 will be placed at 2 index and 3 will be placed at 3 index okay as per the question what we have to what we need is that ai must not be equals to i must not be equals to i means we want this thing we want this thing or we can say that we can say that if ai equals to i then perform then perform some manipulations okay then perform some manipulations such that such that ai is not equals to i and basically we have to tell the count of those manipulations the count of minimum like minimum count of those manipulations okay so now we will check if ai and how we like uh, since, uh, since uh, if uh, like uh, here we are using list okay here we are using list if we have used uh, array or vector then we can have like then uh, in those in those in those uh, like in array and vector random access is possible Okay, so uh, in array and vector we can access element by using b of i or r for array let's say or for a of i okay but uh, it is not possible in case of list because uh, list does not give us uh, random access okay so how we access element is like we use iterator we use iterator okay so we will check if go to iterator equals to i and for i like here we have to check if for ai equals to i we will initialize a variable i with a zero yeah, okay we will initialize the variable with i with the zero and this is because we have to consider one based indexing okay so we will consider if i equals if go to i tar equals to i plus one what it will check it will check if here go to i tar will represent element present in the list okay so uh, in the like for understanding you can consider go to i tar is as equivalent as in case of v of i okay if we have taken vector then like v of i can be represented as go to i tar for our understanding okay uh, so now uh, if go to itr equals to uh, i plus one why i plus one because we have to consider one based indexing okay uh, while in like by default it is zero based so that's why we are considered i plus one if go to itr equals to i plus one then we have to do some manipulations okay then what we will we'll do uh, okay now comes now here comes our observation part okay now comes here our observation part in the sample case third in the sample case third when it's 3 to 4 2 when it's 3 to 4 2 okay let's talk about first let's talk about this case only uh, in this case when if it is 4 1 3 what we will do we will check first we will check for 4 and 1 here we can see that 4 and 1 are not uh, like 4 and 1 are okay as per current criteria then we will check for 1 and 2 it is also okay for as per our criteria then we will check for 3 3 here 3 3 it will say that yes go to i equals to i plus 1 yes it will say that it will say that yes 3 equals to 3 3 equals to 3 so now what we will do see we already know that uh, elements up to itr minus up to itr minus 1 are already as per our criteria okay it means that if we are talking at about this position if we are talking about this position 4 1 3 and we have come to this position that is third index it means that elements up to two index are already as per our criteria okay it means they're already satisfying condition they're already satisfying condition so we will not alter them we will not alter them and what we will do we will insert we will insert this element minus one at the previous value okay we will insert this minus let me try to open a um, board if my system allows this I hope we can understand in a better way then. Okay, I'm trying, just give me a second.
in the meantime i'm trying to uh, show you like in the course of compiler only what i'm saying i'm saying that we have come till 3 we have come till 3 it means that values up to two index that is values up to uh, first index and second index are already sorted i mean all are already sorted as per criteria okay it's not working it's working now i'm saying that in this list it is 413 it is first index okay index it is second index and it is third index okay guys so i'm saying that here it will check if go to itr okay uh, like go to itr here go to itr is basically this thing go to itr is this thing go to itr is this thing okay it will check if go to itr equals to it will check if go to itr equals to i plus one and for this it is i is zero okay uh, let's say consider this thing it will check if it equals to one no it will not equals to one then it will go to this position now here go to itr becomes one now it will check if go to itr if go to itr equals to two okay if go to itr equals to two it will say that no because go to itr is one while it is two so no it is not equal now here it will check if go to itr equals to three it will say that go to itr is three and it is also three okay so here comes the problem okay guys so here comes the problem so we have to do some manipulations here okay so we have to do some manipulations here so now Uh, Ashtos Koshti, it is third question of code chef long challenge that is uh, avoid fix point okay it is avoid fix point so it will say that uh, it has a problem at this point so we need to do some manipulation and um, what I'm saying is I'm saying that here at this position we will insert we will insert this value minus one that is we will insert Three minus one. Uh, let me try to explain it again. I'm saying that in case of four one three. Okay, here index is first, two, and third. When we have come to this position without an issue, it means that values up to this are already fine as per our criteria. Okay, so we will not alter them. We will just basically enter our new value that is k as per the question here, 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 and the value of k will be the value of k will be this minus 1 value of k will be this minus 1 why k minus 1 ok why k minus 1 because because if we have a problem at this position it means that its index is i since its, its index is i and if it has a problem it means that its value is also i so what i'm saying is i'm saying that then at position i at position i i'm inserting i minus 1 ok i'm inserting i minus 1 or we can see that I am saying that 413 I will make it as 4123 ok so now index it has 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 ok uh, see earlier at index 3 we had 3 but now we have inserted 2 it means that now ai is not equals to i ok and now again here Three and now i becomes here four now this is i like at this position also a is not equals to i but there can be a case when even after inserting at this element in that they even after inserting at this position this becomes equals to ai then we have to consider that fact too okay so now we will try to code this question okay Okay, so 
so now here it is checking if go to itr equals to i plus 1 ok if it is so if it is so what it will do it will just basically l dot m place m place is a function ok m place is a function which is used to insert values in list ok again now you may wonder like how to know this how to know like what is the function to in insert values then don't worry just come to this article ok list dot m place here you can go and check it out it's a wonderful article ok we will insert at position itr we will insert go to itr minus 1 go to itr minus 1 basically we are insert we are trying to insert value of ai minus 1 at position i ok at position i and now one more thing now one more thing is that one more thing is that now at position like earlier when it was 413 earlier it was 413 okay earlier it was 413 uh, so here i was 1 2 and 3 now when it becomes 4 1 2 3 after insertion after insertion then it becomes 1 2 3 4 it means its index is also getting incremented okay so we have to increment its index also so then i plus plus i plus plus and now here also i plus plus okay now guys do you have any idea like why we have incremented i again here we know that why we have incremented i here okay but do you know why any idea guys like it's very easy it's normal thing it's a normal thing okay so why because see here we are uh, writing int of i equals to 0 okay and here we are checking if go to i equals to i plus and here basically what we are trying to do to check is we are trying to check that if a of i equals to i okay it means that if 4 1 4 equals to 1 1 equals to 2 or 3 equals to 1 here with i is basically for base index indexing so we have to we have to increment that indexing part also okay and see like in this question they have told us in this question they have told us to uh, tell us to tell minimum operation minimum count of operations here like minimum number of operations so we need a variable also that can store the count that, that i mean that can store number of operations okay so here we will declare a variable int of count equals to 0 okay so uh, and our count will be only incremented our count will be only incremented when we have some problem and we have problem only when uh, go to i tag becomes equals to i plus 1 okay so then we will increment our count here and then finally we will see out count okay You see how count. Uh, so now I hope we have done all the required part here. Like int of num, it's taking the num l dot pushback num. Okay, uh, and then int of i plus to zero, int count equals to zero for out of iter l dot begin l dot end iter plus plus. If go to iter equals to then uh, then in place at i plus plus. Yeah, I think so. We have done uh, while output while t minus minus output see in t okay now let's try to run this code okay and then okay I need to copy them again. So out does not name a type. I think we have done some syntax error. See so out. Uh, what what? These angle braces. This is for this. Okay, okay, okay. One like by mistake I have commented this.
uh, like screen is lagging I, uh, then i need to close this board i hope it will work now uh, mohit sharma please uh, can you confirm me after 2 minutes like if there is some improvement or the screen is still lagging successfully executed it's giving us 012 okay uh, like we can see that its uh, output is matching with the 012 okay so now let's try to submit this problem Okay, currently running test case three. Let's see. And here, guys, is the answer got correct? Okay, like uh, answer correct. Sub task scored hundred percent. Uh, like, can anybody confirm? Like, if still uh, if screen is still lagging. Shashi Singh Rao is saying quite interesting. Yes, brother, coding is interesting. Okay, guys. Uh, so now, hey guys, uh, in this question, like I will, be, I would like to show you, uh, like my wrong submissions here. Okay, uh, if I can, uh, like how I can, yeah, avoid go to avoid fixed points. submissions okay. so guys see like uh, i was trying this problem since morning okay and i was getting tle in the final in the in the last sub task okay so today i read many articles about list and all like uh, i was just doing next question and suddenly i got a click in my mind that i think i can try list because i have read somewhere that insertion is fast in case of list Okay, so like guys, if you also face some problem like this, like uh, you find yourself stuck on a problem, so just leave it for some time, okay, and then you will see some improvement and you will be able to solve that problem. So now we will be going to fourth problem. Let it XOR palindrome. Okay, so. it is also like it's a easy problem okay but it's a sort of like a sort of trickiest there although it's a easy problem okay so it says that a uh, one based binary string okay binary string of length n is called a xor palindrome if the value of si is or like and all is same for all okay uh, in the last starter also i think they have given some problem with the xor palindrome For example, zero one one. These are XOR palindromes. Okay. For example, these are palindromes. Okay. And you are given a binary string S of length and determine if it is possible to arrange the two. Okay. First line of okay, okay, okay. You may print each character yes or no. This is a binary string that contains only zero zero one zero. Okay. Zero zero one zero. So guys, it's pro it's uh, like it's a easy problem. Okay, it's about XOR palindrome. XOR palindrome is it states that a string of length s is called XOR palindrome only only if s i is XOR with s i n plus one is same for all the values of n. Okay, uh, let me try to run this on board. Like let me try to explain this question on board. If the if it is possible.
okay so now we are on fourth problem and fourth pro fourth problem is exop palindrome fourth problem is exop palindrome okay so it states that let's say let's consider a string let's consider two strings the first will be 0 1 0 1 let's consider three strings ultimately and then triple 1 0 and let's have four string 2 just because they are given 1 1 0 and 1 0 1 okay triple 1 0 or double 1 0 and 1 0 1 like they have set a parameter as if if si zor with si zor with n plus 1 minus i okay if it is same if it is same for all i if it is same for all i okay then for all i uh, belonging to 1 to n then they call it as xor palindrome xor palindrome okay else not then they call it as xor palindrome so now it says that si si is basically ith element from starting okay and corresponding element from the last okay so now it will check if 0 zor with 1 okay so we will store we will store 0 zor with 1 it will be it will be 1 first we are getting 1 then it will check 1 zor with 0 it is also 1 and they are same so it is yes it is a zor palindrome now it will come here it will check it will check zor of first element with the corresponding last element it will give us 0 then it will check zor of second element from beginning with zor of second element from last it will also give 0 ok and these are the same so it will say yes it is a zor palindrome now it will check zor of first element from beginning with the first element from last it will give us 1 ok then it will check for these element and it will give 0 it will say that no these are not same it means that it is not a xor palindrome ok now again it will check for this they will give us 0 they will give us 1 and they will give us 1 it means that it is also not an XOR palindrome okay so I hope now you are clear about what is XOR palindrome okay so guys uh, like I want to know is my still, still lagging Okay, uh, so now we will be going forward.